Alrighty folks, it's a tough scene today, tough scene this morning. You might see this little error message right there. Error purity flow off, check flow, okay? We're going to clean the union screen. All right, so just go ahead and shut off. Shut this off. Put the air out. So, I just got my ha handy dandy rubber mallet. I find that's the easiest thing for me to open these things up. And I'm just going to open this thing. Alright. reason I'm doing this is I've got dogs and you might notice dog hair okay so you can see a lot of dog hair here but this makes me think that this is not quite my problem so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hose this out get all the uh, hair off and we will turn it back on and make sure to see if the air code goes away I'm assuming it won't and if it doesn't I'll show you what's next So, got that bad boy on. Now, let's close that. Turn the power back on, shall we? Starting up. Oh, how's it going? Good, how's it going? Uh-oh, red light's flashing. Abort, abort, and there we go again. All right, we're just gonna do this test pool pilot. It says so super low, that's usually a sign that it's not quite getting proper readings. Yeah, 130 pounds, I don't think I need that much salt. so cold you can't swim in that type of temperatures there we go right there zero volts detected on my cell so it's basically showing my cell right now has is not detecting anything coming out of that thing so let's clean this up same thing as before out the air out and now it's time to get this cell off We're gonna unplug this. We're gonna get rid of these two unions here. Alright. Unplugged. Alrighty. that one and there's that one okay so today we're going to show you how to clean off a little bit of scale and build up on there it doesn't look like much but let's go ahead and clean and see what we can get so this is the next step so we're going to need some muriatic acid our salt cell some pool water nearby and you're going to see i got this little one and a half inch plug and you'll see why we use that right so this is on Amazon. I've got a link below on the video here if you want to, uh, if you need something like this. But essentially this is just to go in and to stop water from falling out one end of the salt cell. We're gonna take our plug. We're gonna put it in here. Get it going. Okay. Now what we should probably do, we should be able to do is not put water in without seeing a ton of leakage at the bottom. Alright, you typically don't want to have a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, it's about a five parts to one part ratio. We'll do probably a uh, three to one here. So we're going to do about three quarters of water here in our salt cell. I'll just grab it from the pool water. Make sure we don't get any muriatic acid on our two connections. 
get in there. Okay. Alrighty. Fargus, it's dangerous time. Come on. Yeah, I'll get back. Get back there. I know you're trying to help. Gosh, gotta get you a job here working on. And then we're just going to get it. Get. Try not to breathe any of this crap in. Okay. I need to get this for you. For bubbling. Bubbling brew. It means it's working. It's getting all that build up scale calcium deposits off of those. Off of those little blades. And once this is done, we're going to take the plug out, put it right back into our system, and pray to God that the error code went away. <sighs> Alright, soft cell's back on. <sighs> pray to God. Gotta go. The idea behind is this air purity flow means water is not adequately flowing through this system, that there is blockage. However, I can physically see water is flowing just fine. And we've already cleaned out this trap, everything looks good. So what we're down to is, what we're going to try now is try to force, maybe if there's any debris trapped in this little bypass area, bypass flow area, that we try to flush it out. And what it recommends is to do this. Beat the crap out of your system once again. Okay. Not strong. Alrighty. And to force it through there is we have to kind of cut this off. And so it recommends doing that by plastic bag, plastic sack. So, taking a plastic bag, plastic area, and forcing this in there. And what this will do is force that water, force that water to have to go through this bypass flow. Okay, and in doing so, hopefully clean out any debris trapped in there. this okay so we're seeing some major major water being pushed into that valve there which is what we wanted okay and believe it or not this is saying we should be seeing an air purity flow message if we're forcing it in. We are forcing it. Which we are. Alright. So if there was any debris trapped in there, hopefully we've now officially flushed it. Okay. Alrighty. Here's where the little red 
headlight starts flashing. Pissed me off this morning. And there it goes. I hate you, you son of a bitch. Alrighty, folks. Pretty excited about this. This is um, the next thing in my troubleshooting tree. And this is the Tri Flow Sensor assembly unit. Essentially replacing my other cable here. So this is the part that detects flow. It's a flow sensor detector. So I'm hoping with this in place, this is the next thing that could possibly be right. That's the unit we're going to replace today. This bad boy right here. So first and foremost, I'm going to loosen it up here. Just wanted to let you all know some of the some of the hazards on the job here. Let's see if I can get it under. But don't know if you can see that, but I got essentially a uh, kind of an old wasp nest and stuff. So I got to deal with that first. And I'm going to get this just uh, unscrew and unhooked. Yeah. 